I've been on a podcast before and I really enjoy just kind of learning and yeah. just socializing. Um, so I'm single. I'm not talking to anyone. I guess I'm kind of in the same boat with Mia um, about like narcissists. I tend to somehow always end up with not so much, I guess the controlling part, but I guess it's more of like an overly controlled or like just manipulative and like liar, pathological liar. I somehow always end up with a, uh, those types of men. Can you, can you, can you define or give me some examples of what controlling looks like? Um, I guess more so like, let me think of an example. Um, like I dated a guy, um, I guess a while back ago that was very like strict on me, like hanging out with my friends, like where I would hang out with them. Like to an extent I understand, like, you know, I shared my location with him, but Mm -hmm. it was more of like, you know, you need to wear this and that. Not that I was wearing anything like provocative anyways, but it was more of like, he's deciding, he's making the plans for me and my friends, I felt like, instead of me. Okay. So what's wrong with him setting boundaries for his girlfriend and where she can hang out with and stuff like that? I don't have an issue with the boundaries. I think for me though, I am an adult. So Mm. I also like to make my own decisions. But in a respectful way, like I wasn't going out to like a club. It was more like me literally just going and meeting up with a friend. Uh, a friend as in a female as a, friend a or a male friend? A girlfriend. A girlfriend. And what would you guys do when you guys all got together? We would just go to like a restaurant or a bar and eat and really just catch up. So I think also when I look back at that relationship, though, I saw a lot of insecurities in him and him trying to. I guess control in ways like that. Okay, so you wouldn't wear uh, revealing clothing when you would go out with your friend? Yeah, correct, not with that. So if I pull up your Instagram right now, am I gonna see- On my Instagram, I'm single. (laughs) I'm gonna see single pictures. You are gonna see single pictures. I don't know, Rachel, I'm seeing a lot of skin here. I know. This is not not what girlfriends show on social media publicly to the world. But I also was not dating him at the time. Okay, but you're single now, so I mean, like this is, this is Rachel, right? Sitting, <laughs> sitting by the poolside. It's not focusing, but did you somebody get the jump idea. in and say why? Sorry, somebody yeah. say something. I thought I heard Sophia says why, Rich. Why what? Yeah, why? Not, why is like, that why not girlfriend I, behavior? So, like, yeah, like if I'm out with my friends in Mexico and we went to a pool. Oof. And I was wearing a bathing suit, and I Let's wanted just to stop at Mexico. Yeah, well, hold on. I can let her keep going. I wanted to cut. Go, keep going. Okay, go. Okay, so what? Let's let's not even say Mexico. That was just the first one that came to my head. Mm. What if I went to a, a family like Fourth of July barbecue? Like we have like a lot of big family parties, and sure. have a good time. Like we go like to a swim park or something, whatever it is. And mm. I just wanted to post like pictures in a bathing suit. Are you saying that I can't post that because I'm in a relationship? Why would, would you want, want to? to share? pictures of your body with the world if you're in a, in a relationship with a guy that you love and care for? Um, because I go to the gym and he picked me and he loves and cares for me because I go to mm-hmm. the gym a lot and I'm really proud of my body. I work mentally really hard to overcome a lot of um, insecurities myself and body dysmorphia. Maybe I, should re- maybe I should reframe the question. Why do you need attention and validation from other people other than your boyfriend? Um, I don't look for attention and validation. Actually, some of my posts are like muted on the likes or mm-hmm. the comments. So even if nobody liked it and commented on it, it actually just brings me more confidence. Like I just feel like I'm like, oh, wow, I looked really good in that moment. And then the next day, maybe because of like hormones or because I'm having a really shitty day, I could like look at myself and be like, I don't really feel so, that good this day. But I go back and look at the photo and I'm like, oh, wow, I looked really good that day. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. But you're, but you're posting okay. it on a public platform. It's it's a it's yeah, a public so. account and the caption is, but what did you say with a banana at the end of it? And by the way, this is the photograph again. It's you know the two girls sitting it's by the poolside in the yeah in their bathing suits. It's not focusing, but you can get the idea. And then if you look at the comments, uh, girl, I'm gay. Uh, hearty eyes, fire, fire, fire from John. Uh, fire, fire, fire. Star, star, star. These are all mostly dudes. Haughty. Hot girl summer I, has most started. Most of my comments actually uh, from my friends and my girlfriends. That's where most of my comments. Dave's come from, Dave's comment is, "I'd eat that with an apricot <laughs> with a, a peach <laughs> at the end of it." Um, you're not posting that 
for any other reason other than getting attention and validation from people on the internet. If you're in a relationship with a guy and you care about him and you want to protect the, uh, like the sanctuary of that relationship, you shouldn't be out there posting provocative and salacious photographs of lots and lots of skin. Well, so I don't know, because I was with, I was with a guy um, beforehand and he liked all those pictures and he had told me that he loved that I was so outgoing and mm -hmm. he loved to show off, like, he'd be like, yeah, this is hers and she's so hot. But then when I was in the committed relationship, I couldn't do that anymore because I wasn't Was that the same guy or was that a different guy? No, same guy. Same guy went from, I like that to you've now claimed each other. And he's like, I don't like that now. Yeah, that's like yeah. my problem with it. Yeah, well, well, that's not I mean, a problem at all. It's like, because here's what, here's, here's what you're doing. He, you put a for sale sign on the car. He likes that the car can be bought. He bought the car and yet you kept the for sale sign in the window. Basically. Right. So that's, that's kind of what but we're what talking you about here. You kept the for sale sign in the window because. Um, By continuing to post publicly. I kept it squeaky clean. I kept it gorgeous. I waxed the tires. I bought That's not what we're talking tires. about though. When, when women but are that's posting. What I'm talking about. I know, but I'm telling you from yeah. a, what, what guys are seeing when they see social media. When you're posting scantily clad photos, that is an invitation to, and that is an advertising, advertisement to other men. Um, that's fine. Like I, I, because men like TNA, especially if it's well, public, especially other, if it's attractive. Why can't women. it be the women too, though? Like I feel like I post a lot of stuff, For and who? I get so many women that comment, like my friends. Like sure you do, of course it's, they do. It's yeah, we, mostly we, we guys commenting with comments this, like, "I would eat even that." Even if it's not, even if it's not comments, even if it's not commenting, it's you know out there for the public and the world, the eye to see. If you and and my like. My question was, my question goes back to if you really were, I mean, first of all, what happened with that guy, right? Like he, he vanished. He's no longer, you're no longer with him. Is it because he, he tried to control you and get the pictures off or what exactly was it? Was um, it yeah, things? he was, he was, um, no, he was definitely controlling. He liked to, uh, I don't know if you can still see me. It says. Yeah, we can exactly. see. Yeah, you're still there. Um, so he was like really controlling with um, like he would have a problem with where I would go with my friends or when I would go with my friends. But he had a lot of time on his on his hands. He wasn't a super successful guy, I would say. But I am always doing stuff. I do a lot. So he always wanted me to be home. And then that just started to build into like insecurities. And he didn't keep good men around him either. Like his friends would get into his head and be like, oh, dude, she's probably out cheating on you. And I would be like leaving work. So Rachel, like does this sound familiar to you too? Yeah, well, so I want to go back to the picture thing because to make clear, as you, you were saying that I was in a relationship, mm -hmm. I've been single. So I've been single and posting those pictures. Whenever I'm in a relationship or dating someone, like recently, like two months ago, I dated someone, I took the bikini pictures down. Okay. That's what right. I did. I'm gonna put them back up, but like right I'm gonna be right. respectful, but at the same time, like I'm gonna I'm gonna wear what I want to a certain extent. So I don't think I should have to take them down. Just yeah, to be clear. Okay, I don't think so I you're in the I don't have to take it down camp, yeah. but but Jess and Rachel are in the I'll take it down camp. But I get uncomfortable in a relationship if I have them on there. Why is that? Because I feel like it's the room for the imagination and I don't want other guys peeping my body when I'm in the ball. Okay. With someone. Got it. So here's the thing. You don't need to show off your body the way that um, in that example that we saw, um, you don't need to because guys already know what you look like. We can, we can take a look at you in a pair of regular pants, not even yoga pants. We can take a look at you in a regular top or sweater and know pretty much what we're dealing with, like what you got. You don't have to show it to us. So it's not necessary to put it front and center like that. It's certainly bad news bears if you do it in a relationship because like Moff indicated, it's like you're, you're advertising and selling your, it's like the car's still for sale, even though it has an owner is basically what you're doing. So most guys will have a problem with that. There's a small handful that, that may not, but any guy that is worth his salt that is going to commit to you and want to, um, you know, lean into a future with you, 
is not going to tolerate a woman that's, um, you know, spending a lot of time acting single, holding out to the public on social media that she's single. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that clip. If you want to check out the full length podcast episode, you can find that right over here. Also, make sure you visit my website over here where you'll find my supplements, the opportunity to book me privately one on one for coaching. And most importantly, my new school of unplugging, which you'll find on the courses tab. Newer to the channel, hit subscribe.